What's good everybody? I am back and I'm here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take drum kits and bring them in into Logic Pro X. Um, this is actually a request from somebody that was on my comments. I appreciate you um, for commenting and asking this question. So I'm here to show you how to do it. So it's fairly simple. There's two ways of doing it. And uh, the first way is probably the fastest way to do it. Um, but it's not necessarily the safest because, say, for instance, if you move your drums or if you switch to another computer, you're going to have to refine the drums and that could be a big mess. So, but it's very fast and it's very effective. So the first way is we're going to use contact. So when you open up contact, it usually looks kind of like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to files. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to go to my drums right here. So Bolo drums. And I'm going to go to the good old faithful Lex Luger kit. Now, the thing I like about Contact is if you're using Contact, unlike um, Logic, you can use 24 and 32 bit samples in Contact. So that is the plus with Contact. You can use samples in here like that. So when you go in here, let's see here. Let's say I want to use this bass. I like that bass. I'm going to route it in, and automatically I can play my keys. And there it is. You can play the sample and it works perfectly fine. So now let's say, for instance, I want to use a snare. I want to take that down, go right here. And, you know, I can audition through them. Once I turn this on, turn this out on, I can audition. I like this. I like, well, I like that clap. Now, swing it in. There it is. We're done. Super easy. And then you can go in and you can, you know, play, play with the release, sustain, decay, all that good stuff. You can um, go into the wave editor. You can loop it. You can stretch it. You can do so many different things. I'm not going to get into that right now. That's for another video. But um, this video right here that I'm showing you, this piece right here, I actually have another video, an earlier video that I've showed how to do this. And if you want to go in, I have the link in the description as well. So that's the first way of doing it. Second way of doing it is through the ES24 sampler. Now, what I like about this is you can actually build kits and save it. And then when you create your projects, you can save these sounds with your project, um, either in a folder or the little package thing, you can save it. And that way, when you switch computers or whatever, at least your drums will retain within the session. So I'm gonna show you how to build a kit inside the ES24 sampler. So. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the sampler, and as you can see, there's no instrument in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit, and then I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you the good, I'm going to show you the good and the bad about this. So we're going to go in, like say for instance, um, the Lex Luger drum kit. The thing about this Lex Luger drum kit is they're mostly 16-bit um, sounds, so it will work inside of the ES24 sampler. Now, if you're getting to 24 or 32-bit samples, that's where you're going to have a problem. You're going to have to go in and you got to change that bit rate down to 16-bit for this to work inside of this instrument. However, this instrument is very good because now you can build your own kits, you can go straight to it, and you can find your sounds. So say, for instance, I like um, this bass. And let me de you know, demo it. Okay, sounds good to me. I take it. I drop it into middle C right here. Once I do that, I take this, I stretch this out all the way. I stretch this out all the way. And then now when I play it, it plays all the way out. Now, what I'm gonna have to do is with the bass, so you, as you can hear, you hear the bass is overlapping. There's two ways to get rid of that. One way is just simply press mono. Or what you can do is you can take the voices and turn that down to one. Very simple. And then you can play with the levels or whatever you want to do, the release, the attack, the decay, whatever. Now, the good thing about this is you can make your own folders in here. So what I want to do is I want to go in here. So I like that. Um, 
and I want to save this. So I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to create my own folder. As you can see, I have a folder already in here called Trap Drums. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this um, Trippy Drums. <laughs> Something crazy. So I created that. So now I'm going to create another folder inside of Trippy Drums called Basis. Create. Now inside of this folder, I'm going to name the instrument Trippy Bass 1. Okay, great. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here to Options and I'm going to save the settings that I put on here. I'm going to save these settings to the instrument. So save settings to instrument. That way these settings right here will coincide with this instrument. So now let me make another instrument. Well, put in another instrument with this kit I'm about to make. So let me right click on this and let me go to no instrument start new and then let me find another sound so let me go down here to my drums let's go to claps and snares and audition one okay I like that one so I'm gonna go to edit swing this clap in there stretch it all the way out and then now and the cool thing about it is since I had already did this over here, if you just stay inside of the program and you don't change anything, just make sure that's on voices, uh, one voice uh, or mono or whatever. Basically, the same settings I did for the bass is going to be with this uh, clap. So I like how everything sounds. Sounds good to me. So let me go to instrument and let me save. And then I'm going to go into Trippy Drums again. I'm going to create a new folder. Call this uh, Trippy Clap. All right. And inside of here, I'm going to call this Trippy Clap 1. All right. So there it is. So now, the good thing about this is when I go to here to when I want to select my instruments, I can go down here and I actually got a folder called Trippy Drums. I got a folder with the bass and I got a folder with the clap. And you can do this for every sound that you have. The only thing is they have to be 16-bit sounds. So as you can see, very quick, you can build drum kits either through the ES, um, EXS24 sampler or you can build kits um, or just pick individual kits with the uh, contact. So if you have any questions, make sure you like the video first, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and make sure to comment and leave any requests that you want to see, and I will try to make a video for you. All right, until next time, peace out.